Well, we had a major winter storm again yesterday. Um, left us with another two feet of snow. And to say the least, it sucks. <laughs> um, anyways, we're getting dug out. Chris um, has been working all morning with the skid loader. Uh, horses have tolerated it really well. Um, but yeah, it just makes for a lot of work. Nebraska is not set up for this kind of snow. Um, there was a roof collapse in a uh, in town on a building, so Chris got the message about that last night. Not that he built that part of the building, but um, he will probably end up having to fix it. So, anyways, I'll give you guys a little view of our lovely winter wonderland that we have right now, and. Um, not enjoying this at all. cleaning the pens out so it's not quite such a mess when it starts to thaw and so that the cattle and horses can get the water. There's the brood mares and the baby. I don't know if you can see it or not but we have an incredible amount of snow on that lean-to and on the roof of the building and that is going to have to come off so that it doesn't tear everything up and doesn't collapse the room. Here's, you can see our farm equipment is very... We took the hay net off of their hay bale so they can get to this a little bit better. She's not a broodmare, but she needs a little more nutrition, so she's in this pen for that reason. And we've got Pink, who's a baby who needs lots of nutrition so she can grow. And over there, we have Roja, who is our recent mare carrying twice as baby. That is why I ain't seen nothing yet. And then we've got old Roni, who is also red to eight seed nothing yet. So pretty excited. Thankful that nobody's falling in this kind of weather. Hi oh, baby. <laughs> some, of our, some more of our drifts. There's a lot of snow. Here's our farm equipment. Barry, I think we've got a bellyache. Watch her for a little bit, but yeah, we'll get her in and get her banamine. Yeah, we're gonna get her in and get some banamine. I think she's just uncomfortable. Yeah, she's uncomfortable. It brought Miss Clementine in because she was showing signs of colic, very uncomfortable, um, kicking at her belly, rolling. Um, we brought her in, brought a friend in with her, and um, gave her 10 cc's of banamine IV. And um, she is already starting to look more comfortable, and we'll keep an eye on her. We'll do some hand walking and uh, hopefully she'll, hopefully it's just gas colic and, um, it'll pass, but, um, we'll definitely be keeping a very close eye on her. It's not uncommon for horses to colic in a big snowstorm. Um, so drastic changes in weather. Uh, sometimes they don't always eat and drink like they normally do. And so, um, 
I felt her belly and, and she was having some quivering of the muscles of her belly. After she gets a little more dried off, I will probably also do a PEMF treatment on her uh, over her belly that will promote more blood flow to the gut. Uh, it can't hurt. Um, and we did it actually when this mare twice colicked down in Fort Worth. Um, we did PEMF and ran a ton of fluids. Unfortunately, with the snowstorm, the vet uh, is probably not going to be able to get here. So um, I'm hoping this is, like I said, just a real minor case of gas colic and um, we'll do what we can to manage her this way. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you see her muscles twitching in her belly like that. I think this is part of the discomfort she's feeling. Um, I did listen to her guts and there is, uh, there are gut noises, so that's good. I'm hoping it's just gas colic. Okay, we're doing MagnaWave or PEMF on uh, Clem. She was showing signs of colic earlier. Um, we're going to do it over her flank and belly area. See if we can get the muscles to relax a little bit more. She's had her 10 cc's of banamine and we'll keep an eye on her. Okay, one of the other things that I'm doing, you won't be able to see it a whole lot, but I'm massaging around the anus um, to help ease the muscles back here. Um, I don't know. I, I've been told to do this when a horse is colicking. Um, never had to use it before. Um, she does seem to be more relaxed when I do this. She was pawing a little bit earlier and a little uncomfortable, so just working around um, that to get her to hopefully relax. Pass some gas, pass some um, fecal matter. We'll work on this while we're doing the PEMF on her too. Okay, we're hand walking Clementine because she is colicking and we are um, trying to keep her more comfortable. So yeah, not only dealing with major snow removal and trying to get around, now we have a horse colicking. Put Clementine in this stall um, with some water and the best news right there. <laughs> she pooped. So she's feeling better. Okay, here was our colic treatment. Um, we had uh, 10 cc's of banamine that we gave IV to her as soon as we noticed her colicking. And um, I didn't have electrolytes around. It's the middle of winter, um, or my normal electrolytes. But I did have this sample of Redmond Rock Crushed Loose Mineral Salt. When you take a look at the back, um, it does talk about gives your horse salt and electrolytes. He needs to be hydrated. And so I mixed it up with water and syringed it into her mouth. And um, so it must have done the trick. Hey, so here's the end of our day. Uh, we got a lot of snow moved. Well, we didn't, but oh, well, we, you guys did. You guys yeah, scooped the scooped. walk. I um, spent my afternoon with Clementine, who was oh, colicking. Yeah, well, Gracie did. Man, mom did. <laughs> and we got her feeling better and she pooped. So um, all is good to end the day. All so, is good. Hopefully tomorrow we can get to work. You don't have school though, so, school. or work, so you just or get to work. work here. Like normal. <laughs> All right, see you later.